And the high cost of Peter McKay's travels became a lot more transparent today. Newly released documents show the defense minister spent thousands of taxpayers' dollars staying in luxury hotels overseas. One trip to Germany cost $1,400 a night. CTV's Ottawa bureau chief Robert Fife has more. When he's not flying high in the air, Peter McKay likes to live large on the land. Very expensive rooms in, in very nice five-star hotels. Spending receipts obtained by the Canadian Taxpayers Federation reveal the defense minister has stayed at some of Europe's poshest hotels while traveling on government business. Okay, so Munich, there's, that's, the, that's the hotel line there, $2,904 for a couple of nights. In Munich for a security conference in 2010, McKay stayed in a $1,400 a night luxury suite at the Bayerischer Hof Hotel, spending two nights in an 860 square foot suite renowned for its elegant bathrooms, romantic fireplaces, and breathtaking views. Total cost, $2,900. Meanwhile, McKay's staff stayed at the nearby Hilton in a room charging $239 a night. How does he explain these abuses of taxpayers' money, and when will he reimburse the taxpayers? Nation-to-nation -nation meetings. At conferences such, like, such as this, advance the interests of Canada, advance the interests of the hard-working men and women who serve our country around the world, and I was proud to represent Canada at that conference. On that same trip, he went to Istanbul for a NATO meeting, booking into a $770 suite at the Salon Intercontinental for three nights. Total cost, $2,300. His staff stayed at the same hotel for a third of the price, $276. We can't be uh, have a globe-trotting minister of defense uh, living in the lap of luxury, like some kind of a Gucci shoes uh, conservative gadfly from the 1980s. As the Commons broke for Christmas, some conservative MPs told CTV they're bracing for a constituent backlash over McKay's expensive taste on taxpayers' dimes.